So here we're given these uh, piecewise linear graphs and we're asked to find a derivative of this function h, which is a composite function, f of g of x. And since we're interested in the derivative at 3, so that's 1, 2, 3, so in this region. So, so here I just have to deal with these two linear functions. I'm going to ignore that because I'm interested in uh, the derivative at x equal to 3. So I'm going to find the form of these functions. We'll start with the f first. And this point is 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, comma, 0. That is 3, 4, 5, 0, 5. So that's a straight line. I'm going to use the intercept form, meaning if I know the x and y intercept, it's x over the x intercept and y over the y intercept. And that's x plus y equal to 5 y equal to 5 minus x, which means the function f is 5 minus x. So that piece I have, I have to do the same thing with this g, and I'm only looking at this linear portion, because again, I'm interested in the uh, derivative at 3. So this point here is 2 comma 0, and that point is 5 comma 4. So I can find the slope, the function g, difference in the y-coordinate over the x-coordinates, that is 4 third. So g of x is 4 third x plus b. That's the y-intercept of that. I'm going to use this condition when x is 2. Um, the value of the function is 0. So that becomes equal to 0, which means b is minus 8 third. So our full function g of x is 4x minus 8 over 3. They have the same denominator. So now I need to find this composite function. So h of x is f of g of x. So that becomes the input here. So 5 minus 4x minus 8 over 3. Now you can do the complete computation. That would be, you don't have to, you'll see why. So that's 23 minus 4x over 3. They're asking uh, the derivative at um, x equal to 3. So h prime x, it's a linear function, is just minus 4 third, the coefficient of x. So it's actually a constant, so h prime 3 is minus 4 third, and that is answer choice B.